Okay, we're looking at DLR week 33, day one. Sequoia, comma, a Cherokee speaker, comma, invented the Cherokee alphabet in the 1800s. So Cherokee is the name of a tribe, so we capitalize that. And we have the two commas here because Cherokee speaker modifies or describes Sequoia. Number two, Sequoia served in the army with soldiers who spoke, comma, read, comma, and wrote English. And English is the name of the language, and we capitalize names. We have a comma series, spoke, comma, read, comma, and wrote. Okay, number three. Seeing how valuable writing was, he thought his language should be written too. Seeing how valuable writing was, he thought his language should be written too. And number four. Sequoia spent 12 years creating his alphabet and one year teaching it. The original said, Sequoia spending 12 years creating his alphabet and when you're teaching it, it's not a complete sentence. We need to change spending into spent. Okay, let's look at day two. Day two. I just finished reading... I just, I just finished reading a book titled Through My Eyes by Ruby Bridges. So this is the title. It's capitalized and underlined. I just finished reading a book titled Through My Eyes and here's the author, capitalize her name and then period. Ruby was the first African-American student in a white school in the South. Ruby was the first African-American is the name of the race, so we capitalize it. We always capitalize names. Okay, and the South is the name of the region, so we capitalize South. And in the South. Number three. The community where she lived protested for a whole year. The community where she lived protested for a whole year. Number four. Ruby faced threats and insults every day. She faced them. It means she endured them. Um, actually, the, the original paper says faced and endured, and I would say that those are synonymous. So if you put faced, that's okay. Endured means very similar. She had to deal with it and put up with it. Um, threats and insults make you feel really bad inside, and endured is the strongest word. Okay, so yes, endured is probably stronger than faced. I'll accept faced, though. That's what I would have picked. <laughs> Day three. My youngest brother, Tyler, and our grandpa have a lot in common. And we have the commas here because Tyler is the youngest brother, right? He is the youngest brother. So we have the two commas. What I mean by that is that they both enjoy the outdoors, Cuban food and sports. What I mean by that is that they both enjoy the outdoors, comma, Cuban food, comma, and sports, period. Um, Cuban being the name of a country. Here's the name of a type of food from the country. We capitalize names. 
and we have our comma series. Number three. Oh, and you don't need the comma here. Number three, they both love basketball more than life itself. They both love basketball more than life itself. It goes with life to intensify it. Okay. Taking my brother to a game makes grandpa very happy. The answers might be different. The original one says, when grandpa takes my brother to a game, it makes him very happy. So we're going to clarify the meaning. The reason it's not clear is the him, is it grandpa or is the him brother? When grandpa takes my brother to a game, he is very happy. That's still not clear. Let's see. My brother is happy when grandpa takes him to a game. Or, Grandpa is happy when he takes my brother to a game. Taking my brother to a game makes Grandpa very happy. So your answers might be different, but you can't have him, because there are two hymns, and we don't know which him you mean. Okay, last one, day four. Alexa and her family are going to move back to Germany next week. So we have the capital G. Germany is the name of a country. And Alexa and her family is not single, it's plural. They are. They are going to move back to Germany next week. Number two. Everyone has to pack up all of his or her belongings before the movers come. So, everyone has. They have, but everyone is singular. It's like saying he has to or she has to. It has to. Everyone has to pick up all of his or her. See the his or her? So he has to pack up, she has to pack up his or her belongings before the movers come. Alexa broke her toe when she dropped a mirror on it. And your answers might change a little bit. The original one, she dropped a mirror on her toe and broke it. Did she break the toe or the mirror? It's not clear. So she broke her toe when she dropped a mirror on it. And number four. Her brother and sisters had to finish packing all by themselves. So brother and sister, that's they. So we say themselves. Okay. 